Hey, welcome to the Tuesday Talk. This is going to be a continuation of a series. We're going to talk about otoplasty, which is ear reshaping. Okay, first, when do we do otoplasty? Um, there are some children who have problems with theirs. They're born like that, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my next um, uh, section or my next Tuesday Talk about how to treat that. But generally, we want to wait until the children are about five to six years of age. Why is that? Because at that point, the ears are about 85% of adult size, and then we can treat them uh, accordingly. So what are the things that we tend to treat uh, with otoplasty? It's usually prominent ears. There might be ear that sticks out a little bit too far because it's bent forward, or what we call the contral bowl is a little bit too prominent, sticks out too far from the head. So those are areas that we tend to re reduce or make better. How, and how do we do that? We do that basically by reshaping the underlying cartilage. Okay? And, um, and the refinement in here is we used to cut the cartilage, but when you cut the cartilage, you get two edges and they look really, really sharp. And that's not how the bend in your ear tends to look. It tends to have a smoother look. So we refine that technique to make it look like that. And uh, this is a surgery that, again, is common in, in the adolescent or younger uh, age group, uh, young adults. And the recovery is fairly quick. So this is something that people will sometimes get when they're on break from uh, high school, like their, their uh, Christmas break or back in town from college on a college break and also again younger children again but again we're going to deal with that in more detail in the next talk we're going to talk about uh, ear wells and to, to my family in Italy ci vediamo presto